Let's record uh, the formation of the compound made from, I don't know, phosphorus and iodine. Okay, so first thing we need to do is draw the Lewis structures of those two atoms. Okay, so phosphorus Lewis structure, remember, dot, so five valence, right? One, two, three, four, five. So how many can bonds can it make? Three, okay? So iodine, how many valence electrons does it have? Seven, right? So we'll draw them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll draw them that way because I want that to be the bond. Okay? So if I bond this with this, does that fill up everybody's valence shell? No. So how many more iodines do you guys think of? Two. Why? Because iodine makes how many bonds? One. One. And phosphorus makes how many bonds? Three. Three. Okay, so you're going to need two or three of those iodines. And then I guess the one is down here. Is everybody okay with that? And now what we do is draw what we call bishop arrows for the motion of one electron. Like that. Okay. And we make this compound called phosphorus triiodide. And I'm just going to turn it over. And it's best to keep your valence electrons there. Like that. Okay, so hopefully you guys drew a picture similar to that. So this is called a Lewis structure. This is the Lewis structure of the molecule phosphorus triiodide. Okay. It does not actually look like this. Okay, it's not a T. Okay. It's actually what we call trigonal pyramidal. So that means three-cornered pyramid, trigonal pyramid. Okay. So why is why does it look like that instead of like a T? It's because those electrons want to be moved as far away from each other as possible, and Vesper theory uh, states that because they're negatively charged, right, they don't like to be in the same area as each other. You've got two negatively charged things kind of bouncing away. Now, it may seem that they're as far away as they can be in this, um, in this drawing already, but re recall, this is a drawing on a two-dimensional plane, okay, not on a uh, on a three-dimensional surface like an atom is, or a molecule, okay? So in order to adjust for that, we have to recall that they are spheres, atoms, and when we draw phosphorus triiodide, we're gonna draw it showing the relative direction of those bonds, okay? So when, this is trigonal pyramidal. So if you can see, right? So any bond that's just a straight line, that means that it's in the plane of the board, okay? Any bond that's a, a hashed line, means it's behind the plane of the board, and any bond that's a wedged line means it's in front of the plane of the board. Okay. What we will learn, and we don't have very much time right now, and I know we're just introducing this topic, is how to figure out what the bond angle is. So we already said that this is a trigonal pyramidal Structure. So from that, um, you 
you should be able to tell what the bond angle is. And I go, no, you guys haven't memorized them yet. But in this one, this case, this one is 107.3. Okay, so there's these numbers that you're going to have to memorize. That's one of them. Okay, so uh, we're going to start next week just building structures, building structures, building structures. That's what we'll do. Okay, are there any questions on this one? Probably a bunch, but probably nothing you guys can ask me right now, right? Okay.